Hello, it's Thursday, May the 20th, and I uh, trust that you are uh, well. There'll be a Fun Facts Friday uh, tomorrow. Can't remember uh, what it is right now, but uh, do make sure that you uh, watch and listen uh, to that. If you've been in Jerusalem, and uh, today's oracle is now coming all the way home to Jerusalem, having yesterday warned of the destruction of Babylon, by the Assyrians. If you've been in Jerusalem, you've probably gone to see, if, if not actually gone into, uh, what's called uh, Hezekiah's um, tunnel, uh, bringing uh, water from the Gihon uh, springs that were outside uh, of the city. Uh, King Hezekiah built uh, this, this um, uh, 380, 400 meter long tunnel to bring uh, water into the city uh, in case of a, a siege. And uh, otherwise, uh, the city was, was doomed uh, if there was no water supply. Now, what is interesting uh, here in this uh, passage, it begins, chapter 22, it begins with a reference to the Valley of Vision. Uh, it's it's Jerusalem, but you will know the Valley of Vision perhaps from a book, a collection of Puritan uh, prayers. Uh, the book is called uh, Valley of Vision, and it's taken from here. And uh, the prophet is now looking forward to roughly 701 uh, BC. And uh, in verse eight, you'll 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 read. Uh, he has taken away the covering of Judah. And what that's referring to is that Judah, contrary to what God had asked and said, Judah had made an alliance uh, with Egypt to protect themselves against the Assyrians. Well, in 701, uh, Sennacherib, uh, the commander, the, 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 the chief guru uh, of the Assyrians, uh, conquered Egypt. And so the alliance, uh, the covering, uh, the, the covenant that they had made was was uncovered. It was no longer of any use to Judah. Uh, and so, um, interestingly, as you go on to read this chapter, God is, uh, through Isaiah the prophet, God is um, angry with Judah, with Jerusalem, with Hezekiah for constructing uh, this otherwise feat of engineering ingenuity uh, in the construction of this water supply. Instead of trusting God, God gave them Jerusalem, knowing that the water supply was outside the city. And there's a sense in which you read this as suggesting that what they needed to do, because it was their constant failure, what they needed to do was to trust the Lord and he would deliver them. And instead, they employ engineering and human skill to bring them protection. That's a very hard lesson uh, because in, in one sense, this was a terrific piece of engineering and, and it made absolute sense. Uh, it, it, they were surrounded by enemies for, to this day they're surrounded by enemies, uh, Jerusalem. And therefore to have um, forethought and, and, and uh, you know, Cromwell's famous statement uh, in the 17th century, uh, trust in God and keep your powder dry. Well, trust in God and bring water supply into the city. But at the end of the day, in this chapter, that is seen as a sign of a lack of faith. That's a tough lesson, it, but it is the lesson uh, of Isaiah 22. Uh, we'll be back on Monday for the 23rd chapter, but have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.